So, uh, welcome to my off-world stream. Um, like I said, this is kind of just a test run. I think I like we're going to do a multiplayer. Um, we're going to try to do a multiplayer game uh, later this afternoon. So I was just going to play a game and um, you'll see if it looks okay. All right, so I'm just going to play a skirmish game. Uh, against the AI. Um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, these are sort of the default settings. I'll move up to challenging. And all right, let's go. Medium levels of aluminum found. Low levels of iron found. Let me know if the sound is High levels of silicon found. First thing I'm doing here. Low levels of carbon found. Actually, hold on. So I'm gonna pause Medium the levels of iron found. So I can. Okay, I'm gonna turn down the volume a little bit. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to turn up the mic, and I'm going to turn, wait, oops, I did the wrong thing. Turn up the mic, and I'm going to turn down the volume of the sound. Alright, so, uh, let me know if this is, excuse me, let me know if this is better. Um, Alright, well actually since, uh, so I have the game paused, let me just give a sort of quick intro right here. So what I'm doing is, um, uh, can you hear me? Is the mic okay? <laughs> Stream needs more mohawk. Okay. Um, so I'm assuming I'm gonna assume the mic is okay. Um, and um, so the first thing you do in Offworld is you explore the map. Um, I have the game paused right now, just so everyone knows. That's why you know because I'm taking time to talk about. It. Um, so first of all, this is the colony right here, which is sort of an NPC actor. Um, it represents, you know, the people that are, you know, kind of moving into this, this area of the map. And, you know, you're running a business to supply them with, you know, water and food and energy and aluminum and steel and so on and so forth. Um, but you're, the first thing you have to do in the game is decide uh, where you're going to found your headquarters on the map and what type of colony you're gonna have. Uh, you can be expansive, which is kind of the vanilla type. Um, you just get some extra claims. You can be robotic. Uh, their big bonus is that they don't require life support. They don't need food or water or oxygen. And you can be scavenger. Uh, they're, they use basically carbon instead of steel for their buildings. Or you can be scientific. And they're pretty weird. I'm probably not gonna play them as, since this is like a sort of an intro game here. But basically they can put like a farm right on top of water and, used, and you know that that's how they supply themselves with water, as opposed to having to build a water pump and then also a, uh, a farm. Um, so, okay, sounds like the sound is is doing better. Um, so, um, so yeah, the first thing I need to do is sort of explore. And you see, right now I found uh, I found two two uh, geotherm sources, some pr uh, pretty good source of uh, iron and um, some silicon. Levels so, of so, iron found. Um, so let me know if I if the, uh, the mix is good with the sound from the game itself. Um, all right, so I found some aluminum there. So if you're um, probably should probably part of the problem is I'm I'm, I'm getting probably some feedback of the speakers coming back through the mic. Uh, Maybe if I, I wonder if this would work. I'm going to plug this in. All right, so now I look like a, now I look like a broadcaster, right? Um, okay, let me know if this produces a good Scientific um, colony mix. founded. Mix of sounds. Oh, all right, so maybe I forgot to pause the game. Uh, all right, so the first AI has founded a scientific colony here. Um, and uh, let me do some more exploration. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to drop the game down to snail speed um, so that it goes really slow. Scientific um, colony founded. High levels of water found. 
All right. If the game is, if the sound is still super high, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the sound as far to the very bottom, and drop increase the mic. So, um, okay, that looks like the speakers are the problem. All right. Let me know if the let me know if the system sound is too low, and then I'll just assume everything is 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 fine. Um, all right. High levels of carbon found. I might have a hard time with this trying to juggle talking and playing the game. Um, <laughs> um, you know what? I'm freaked out. I'm going to start the game over. Um, all right. Now that we got the sound taken care of, I want to just play the game. As you see normally, so I'll do the do the same thing I was doing before. Um, all right, so start off the game. We're gonna start scanning. All right, found some water. Found some more water. Uh, found some aluminum and iron. So this would be a pretty good spot for uh, expansive. If you can find yourself some some iron and some water, those are kind of like the most important core resources. Um, so, but I'm not in a super hurry to found. There's some advantages to founding later if you're one of the later sieves to found. Uh, sieves has <laughs> such a such a reflective reflexive thing for me to say. Um, if you're one of the later players to found, uh, you can uh, you get basically an extra claim as a bonus. Um, so I'm just going to spend some time exploring until the AI maybe founds. Of course, they might found right here, in which case maybe I should have found it earlier. Uh, all right, so I'll. Oh, yeah, I found it. Uh, all right, I'm doing it. I'm going to found. Scientific colony founded. Uh, I don't want to found there because that's like. A, uh, man, there's not really a perfect place to find. All right, I'm just. I'm panicking. I'm just going to do it right here. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to claim this out. Oh. That's a good tile. We will have the first oh, no one gets it. There's a, this tile has actually uh, high iron and low aluminum, which is kind of usual to find them in the same tile. Uh, and the nice thing about that is my metal miner will produce both. It will produce a little bit of aluminum and a lot of iron. Um, and if I put a if I put a if I put a metal mine here to get the aluminum, these two buildings are next to each other. The two metal mines are next to each other, so they'll get a fifty uh, they'll get a fifty percent bonus. Um, so I claimed it early here. Normally I'd probably build a steel mill with my last claim, um, but I really didn't want another AI to, I didn't want the AI to claim the spot because uh, if they claim the spot, I wouldn't get the you know 50% bonus. It'd be a lot better to have these two buildings next to each other than have to claim uh, the, um, than have to claim the aluminum here. Um, all right, so I got a source of, of iron. I've got a source of water. If you hit Z, by the way, you can see all the buildings disappear. Um, and then, uh, the black market uh, you know, online. in case, in case you just kind of want to get a sense of where everything is. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so we got, a, we got an early auction here. Um, so we're bidding on pirates. This basically lets you take on someone's blimp routes. Auctions, by the way, the, the money comes from your debt. And, okay, I got for 3000 which is not a lot. Um, maybe I'll... So I'm going to go look around. Okay, so the... Um, these guys are scientific, and they've got a steel mill here. Here, you see, it's right on top of some iron. Um, so I'm going to put my pirates right on this uh, route. Pirates. And um, if you notice, I didn't build a steel mill, but because I got the pirates here, I, I can steal. I, you know, when the pirates blow up their blimps, um, I'll get some steel. Um, and basically, the pirates stick around until they, they steal 200, 200 units for you. So it'll be good for giving me, say, 200, 200 steel. Um, and plus, you know, that the AI won't get it, which is which is a nice bonus. Uh, well worth the three thousand dollars of debt it, it will give me. Uh, oh, okay, wow, I've got I've got a lot of iron and aluminum. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at the black market here. They've already been purchasing some claims. Uh, I'm gonna grab a mutiny because I don't have uh, a source of power, uh, which is a problem. Um, I need to upgrade my colony. That's what's most important here. Um, so how can I? What should I do uh, to upgrade? I need steel. I need fourteen hundred. To upgrade, I'll sell my carbon, I'll sell my silicon, I'll sell some iron. So, okay, so the, now the button is green, so I'm going to upgrade. Uh, right, so now I'm going to finally build steel mill. Um, I'm going to need some sort of power. 
Um, in order to build power, let me pause it for a second. You know, one thing you notice here is there are two core types of power. Well, there's three, I guess. But the main types is generally solar power and wind power and the wind turbine, the solar the solar panel and the wind turbine. Um, and they're different in specific ways. Generally speaking, the solar power produces a lot more. You see, solar power produces one power per second, um, and uh, the wind turbine uh, produces 0.4. So uh, you know. So solar sounds a lot better, but the issue is we actually have a day-night cycle. And about a third of the time, there isn't enough sun to produce any solar power. So at night, you're not, if you rely purely on solar power, uh, you're going to be you know, running a deficit of power and you're going to have to buy it from the market. So um, some people prefer to get more, you know, produce more power and then, you know, just handle what happens at night. And other people prefer the steady, you know, sort of the steady power you get from wind turbine. And then the big one is a geotherm, but there's usually only maybe one or two sources uh, and you see a geotherm produces two power a second. Um, and usually there's only maybe one or two sources of geotherm on the map. I actually don't see any on this map. So um, I'm going to probably go for solar power. But you see solar power requires silicon. Wind turbines require, require carbon. I don't have either type. But I noticed on the market here, silicon is selling for only $11 uh, each. So if I can buy... If I could buy uh, 80, that would give me enough for it. So I'm going to unpause the game. I'm going to try to buy a bunch of, I'll sell my aluminum, buy up some silicon, and you see now I have enough to build the solar power. And you want to put it on high tiles. You see that's sort of coated yellow. So I'm going to put the, uh, uh, put some solar power up here. Uh, that was not a great choice. I actually put it close to uh, another uh, this this metal mine here. The problem is if someone ever EMPs this, I'm going to get hit too. Um, so so that's good. Uh, I'm also going to, the price of power has kind of gone up, so I'm going to try to find some AI power. Today. All right, there's a wind turbine there. I will sabotage that. Oh, I forgot. That's a, that's a scientific, uh, it's a scientific uh, sieve, um, which they get a protection against uh, sabotage. So it's going to, I'm going to get it for 60 seconds. Normally you would get it for two minutes. Um, but at any rate, I. Uh, Whatever, I'm now at least positive in power. Um, so you see up here you got debt. You see my debt is going down. Um, let me pause the game for a second. That's because I'm making uh, I'm making $93 a second in power because I'm producing 1.39 power, which basically you multiply 1.39 times $67, and that equals $93. So it's just telling me that's how much money I'm earning per second from power. On the other hand, I'm not producing any food or oxygen or fuel. Because I'm out of fuel, I and mean, because I'm out of food and fuel, that means I have to buy it from the market. So basically, what you got is I'm losing 0.4 food a second. Food costs 39 bucks. 0.4 times 39 is 15. So I'm losing 15 dollars a second to um, to food. So basically, you add the 93. You take the 93. You subtract 15 and 15, and uh, whatever that is, sixty-three dollars per second. That's that's what I my net positive, and so you can see my my debt every second is dropping by that amount. Um, if I was not making power, instead my debt would be going up. Um, okay, claim auction. Uh, so this is this is something I definitely want to get. If you note in the black market right now, claims are going for twelve thousand, so they're going to probably build it, build it up to at least that much. Um, so I don't have a ton of debt yet, so I'm comfortable going a little bit higher. I need to do something with my claims. I've only got three claims. So first of all, might as well build some farms. Farms are always very useful. Um, build a electrolysis reactor. So this is this is going to cover my, my life support. Since I have a pretty good source of water, ooh, I could actually... There's a medium water next to there. Is there a lot of water on this map? There's not a lot of water on this map, so I'm actually going to claim two water, which I wouldn't normally do um, in the game uh, this early. I think that's overdoing it on the water, but because there's not a lot of water on this map, I'm going to try to try to take advantage of that. So now I've got a ton of water, although, oof, boy, water's only $5. See, I could have just just bought it all, so I, that may not have been a good move on my part. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, and, uh, do, do, do. Um, but anyway, at least I got my life support taken care of. Um, so now you see my power is negative because it's nighttime. Uh, see, my solar power is not working at night, so you see my debt is going up, you know, quite a bit each, each second because of the power. All right, now it's daytime, um, so I got a lot of debt. I'm not going to be able to do any more auctions, um, but 
my economy is doing pretty well. I've got a source of aluminum, a source of steel. Uh, I'm going to, aluminum's pretty robust price. I want to get to 12,000 to get Scientific a claim. Expanded. Uh, me. Grab, I'm going to grab an EMP just to blast shortage. Oh crap. All right, so I'm going to sell a sell bunch of stuff to get up some glass because I don't have a source of glass and glass is a key resource because you need to upgrade your colony. Um, so you need at least 40, so I bought 73, so let me, I'll drop a deck down to 40, not to overdo it. Um, but now I at least know I'm covered for my next upgrade. Um, because probably when I go up to level 3, that's when I'll start building some glass furnaces. Um, so now I basically just have to wait until I get enough uh, steel and aluminum to upgrade. So steel is pretty expensive. This is the issue right now, is the steel. So I could... Um, I could... Uh, so my pirates are still here. They're, they must still be stealing... Uh, picking off the steel from from the AI here. Um, so I'm doing pretty well in that regard. One thing I'm a little concerned about is my stock price has actually gone down. Usually it starts at $4. It's because of all this debt, because I have a high amount of debt. Um, let me pause it for a second. So here's a, here's a little help thing that, that breaks down um, uh, your, your valuation. So you start with a valuation of $400,000. You see I have five grand in cash. You know, my resources, if you calculate, you know, how much they'd be worth, if I sold them all right now, it's worth about $20,000. Uh, the value of my structures, which means my colony, uh, my headquarters, and all the buildings I've built is about 38000 So that means my total assets are $460,000. Then what you do is you subtract the debt times five. Um, that, that multiplier basically depends on your difficulty level, but basically the idea is um, debt hurts your your stock price more than, um, uh, you know, if you had $10,000, that's, that's, um, what's the right way to describe this? Um, basically, you don't want to be in debt. <laughs> the game, if you're holding $20,000 in cash and you have $20,000 in debt, your stock price is going to be a lot lower than if you just take that $20,000 in cash and pay off the debt. So you don't want to let yourself debt get out of control or your stock price is going to drop quite a bit and you know the AI will take advantage of that and start buying buying you out. Uh, you see also then there at the bottom, there's a modifier to my, my stock price. Uh, that's from upgrading grading my colony. And there's also a negative 5% modifier from my handicap level. So you know the higher your uh, handicap, uh, which is difficulty, I don't know, I don't know why I chose that word instead of difficulty, but basically it means your stock price is, is changed. And so my final price is three dollars and sixty-one cents. Uh, I can sort of take a peek here at the AI. So they've got this guy's got thirteen thousand in debt. This one's got twenty-three. This one's got no debt. Well, that's interesting. Probably they're they're probably doing good on power. Wow, power is one hundred fifty-four. Man, I'm almost tempted to destroy my farm and just build some power because the, the, the price is so high. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy this water pump here because that's the on the... Market is online. What type of tile is that? That's a very weak wind, medium height. All right, so I'm just going to build some power there. I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that power is so high right now. Okay, claim auction. Um, and right now, I'm just... <laughs> I'm bidding it up. Uh, I, I don't want to take on that much more debt. All right, so they got some debt. Um, I also, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy a mutiny because the price of who's the what player in the lead? Okay, this guy is the trouble. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to mutiny their power. This is a double effect of I get the the wind and then they lose the 50% bonus for being adjacent to each other. Oh, there's a dust storm right now. Oh, that's great. Um, so I get extra power for my wind turbine. Um, so, all right, so things are doing, what just happened? Oh, I got uh, steel for my, my pirates. They're still doing that. All right, so I should be able to upgrade pretty soon. Okay, I need about 80 more steel. Um, wow, iron is really cheap. Um, I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna turn off my iron mine um, because power is so much. I would just rather do someone. Oh, it's nighttime, right? Uh, yeah. See, like right now, I'm making almost a thousand dollars a second off of off of power. Uh, the black market is online. See, I'm not the only one who's having issues from power. All right, so. Um, where's the AI power? No one's got. 
All right, since I'm positive in power, I want to like, I want to, you know, um, I'm going to knock out their power for a minute, which is going to drive up the price more, and then I should be making make even more money. I want, it, I want it to, I want it to help me get out of debt, basically. All right, let's sell some oxygen and fuel. Uh, let's make it a, a mutiny. So I'm going to use that mutiny to steal someone's. We're not surprised. Oh, disappointed <laughs> in you. <laughs> um. Okay, so I uh, let me pause it for a second and explain what just happened. So um, I uh, attacked. So what I was trying to do there is I'm trying to take advantage of the the high energy to maybe try to uh, uh, end the game early. Um, so I used an EMP to knock out uh, the scientific players' uh, wind turbines. That was maybe not a great idea because again they're scientific and they get a protection from an EMP. So didn't really affect that, but at least I'm trying to drive up the price of power as high as possible. Oh, and <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll explain all this. All right, so the a high, um, so I knocked out uh, Mrs. Patton's uh, power here, and then I went over here to uh, this is Ms. Balanced, um, and I decided I was going to uh, mutiny uh, her uh, solar power. Um, there is another. Uh, Black uh, sabotage item called the Goon Squad. So what the Goon Squad is, it's it's basically the def defensive sabotage thing. You basically plant it on your building to protect it. And what happens if someone goes and tries to sabotage that building? First of all, it fails. Second of all, it's revealed to everyone who did the sabotage. So you can see here, um, you know, Goon Squads have caught your attempt to trigger a mutiny on Misbalanced. Everyone gets a message about that that says that you know the captain, uh, which is you know my my steam name here, um, is uh, uh, you know attempted this this EMP, um, and then finally, the other player actually gets the sabotage item. So now uh, Misbalanced has an EMP. Um, and so they can actually turn it against you. And in, in a, a game against humans, that happens pretty often because people don't like being sabotaged. So if they capture you, you know, you use a mutiny against them, um, you know, they're going to probably turn around and use it against you. So uh, what's especially kind of funny about this is, I mean, I wrote the AI for this. So every time, um, basically, the AI catches me, anytime an AI puts a goon squad that, um, you know, it catches one of my sabotage attempts. Uh, I mean, it's, I, I have mixed feelings, right? Like I'm proud of the AI, <laughs> but at the same time, obviously like uh, this is gonna hurt. So, um, so finally down here, I got hit by a power surge um, and um, it was probably, well, I'm not sure who did it. it. You don't know who does the sabotage. It's probably not, Ms. Patton, because she probably also is going to get hit by the power surge. What a power surge does is it starts on one tile and just moves to a certain number of tiles that are connected to each other. So it probably went here, here, and then here. Um, and it has like a, you know, the, the effect goes down as it goes along. So it's this, this solar power node is going to be out for 120 seconds. This one's going to be out for, well, it's hard to read here. Now, this is why it's nearly access game. It should say 105. Um, so I'm going to basically be out of commission here for a couple minutes. So they're trying to do the same thing I'm doing, which is the price of power is so high, they're trying to knock out my power to make sure I don't make money from it, and they do. Uh, I'm not sure who did that to me. And of course, what I'm afraid of also is right now, um, uh, Ms. Balance got my EMP because, I, because uh, she was protected by a goon squad. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ms. Balance then EMPs my solar panel right here. But uh, I guess we'll see. All right, so I'm going to unpause the game. Um, and... Um, I've been targeted by a mutiny. Okay, instead, <laughs> it says someone mutinied me. Okay, so, uh, all right. So everything was doing great until the AI started. Uh, well, I was the one who started it, so I guess I shouldn't complain. But uh, all right, so I got some food. I need, to, I need to make sure I don't fall off in debt, so I'm going to pay off my debt. Um, ultimately, what I, the way out of this is I need to upgrade. Um, All right, I can't upgrade. Great. Um, and uh, right. so I'm going to upgrade to a plot auction. So this is different from a claim auction. This means that this specific tile is available for auction. So it's it's low silicon, which is not great, but I assume that there's not I assume there's not much silicon on the map. All right, I'm going to go up. 
I'm going to go up to 12,000. Alright, I'm not sure if that was a good mood. I'm, I'm infamous inside of the company here for going overboard on auctions. I've lost many games by winning an auction and then going heavily into debt. Wow, water is really high. Alright, I'm going to sell a bunch of water while it's that high. If water ever gets up to $40, that's pretty unusual. Um, um, what should I do here? Um, I'm actually going to pause the game and think. Okay, so I got five claims. Five claims. Obviously, I need some power. Power is ridiculous. Um, so my choices are, I could put some solar here. By the time it gets here, um, in some sense, time is of the essence. Now, I know I'm going to eventually build more farms and more you know, electrolysis reactors. So I think I'm just going to put a solar power right here, knowing that eventually I'm going to use it. So I'm going to drop the solar pounder there. Okay, I also know that I just got some silicon. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to build a glass furnace here. Um, yeah. So that leaves me three flames. Uh, what else is really high? I don't have a source of carbon. It's usually, at this point in the game, you probably kind of want to have a source of all the basic resources. So unless you're scavengers, then you can kind of ignore iron altogether. Um, and there's not a lot of carbon on the map, really. So I should probably get in on that. So I'm going to build, build some carbon there. All right, that leaves me with three claims. Um, all right, I'm negative on food, even with my farm. So I'm going to build another farm. Now notice, so if you get your, see this plus 50% bonus, so if you build buildings of the same type next to each other, you get a bonus. 50% if there's one building, it's 100% if there's two, and then it keeps going up, 150%, 200%, so on. So if you really commit yourself to one resource, you, you can get this ridiculous bonuses. But the, the issue is at some point, how much of the resource you actually need. Look, I'm, I'm, right now you can see I'm sitting on 500 iron. Like, what am I going to do with 500 iron? Like, I mean, obviously I can turn it into steel, but like, that's... That's way more iron than I need. You know, if I sold all of it, I would drive the price down to a dollar. Um, all right, so the build farming, that leaves me with one more. And I think maybe I'll build a, build a wind turbine to protect myself. So I need I need some money. I need 4,000 bucks to build a wind turbine. So I'll sell some steel, sell some food, sell some oxygen. All right, wind turbine. Um, so you see, this highlights which tiles are available. So this is another thing. Uh, that's kind of different about solar and wind power. You can kind of build solar anywhere, which lets you put them adjacent to each other, so you get those bonuses, but wind power is only really good along ridges. So I'm going to try the wind power right here. So potentially I could build another one there if I want to. All right, so that's all my claims. All right, unpause the game. Um, all right, actually I'm going to pause the game, expanded. and I'm now going to look over at the comments, see if there's anything I should answer. Oh, sorry, I all tabbed out. Didn't know that that screws everything up. Um, so, I'm still here. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna pause, unpause the game. Um, and, all right, so I got a bunch of buildings, building, building was created. I'm waiting for my power to get back online. Um, I got a lot, of, I gotta get out of debt. That's my, that's gotta be my top priority right now. Of course, the best way to get dead is to actually start taking advantage of the, the, the power situation. So, um, how much power do I got? So if you click on your colony, you get lines showing you where all your stuff is coming from. Um, and so I've got one, one wind power. The problem is I only got one source of, uh, one source of energy at night, which is the wind power. Um, oh, ooh, there was an energy surplus. So, 
The tricky situation now is energy is worth a lot, but, but if I really overcommit to building energy, by the time all my energy will be up, I just go, <laughs> okay, yeah, I just dynamited another one. By the time I get my energy up, uh, the price will be down to one dollar, and I'll have kind of wasted my claims. Um, so now I'm making three hundred fifty a second to power. So hopefully that'll, that'll get me out of debt. Uh, no, I'm not the only one to suffer. This I've been targeted by dynamite solar power. Totally not surprising. Okay, so let me repair that. Ooh, Marsquake. This means the price of everything goes up. So I'm gonna repair my solar panel. Now, they dynamited a building that was a long way away from my colony, and that's a good idea because basically when something is dynamited, you have to basically click on it and repair, which costs basically costs half of half as much as it would cost to build it, to repair it. Um, and, uh, um, and I've been, my metal mine has been destroyed. Um, that's okay, actually, because I haven't turned it off. Um, but I'll fix it anyway. Um, so if you uh, dynamite something that's a long way from the colony, see so here's my engineer going slowly to get to the metal mine to, to fix it. Um, Freelance pirates right. are auctioning their services um, to the whoa. highest bidder. Are there really 2,500 people watching the stream? That is, that is really cool. Uh, oh, pirates. Six thousand. Uh, what's your pirates useful for? I can steal some more steel. That's definitely worth um, some pirates. Oh. All right, so... Uh, and my pirates are still here. So sometimes blimps get through. There's maybe a 50-50 chance that they'll shoot down each shipment, so I might be getting unlucky. So who should I worry about? Miss Patent. The, so I'm going to... I know what I want, but I also want to hurt this player. Uh, this player has steel here, steel here. All right, I'll drop the, the stuff right there. Um, pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. I might also want to do some resources. Your stock is being bought. Your stock oh, is being bought. no. Uh... All right, I just sold all my resources. There's a hotkey that lets you do that. Shift control down, because right now the AI is making a move on me. So I'm gonna buy some of my stock to like get the price. So, so obviously the, um, the Miss Pat is the one I need to worry about. Um, hmm, what can I do to Miss Pat? I'm going to take over her wind turbine. Okay. All right. You definitely want, if someone starts buying you out, it's a good idea to, to do stuff to sort of mess them up. All right. It looks like the real issue is, oh, the real issue is water right now. Water is 94 bucks, which is way high for water. And I don't think there's, there's no extra water on the map. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. This is all ice up here. This is water ice. But I need some claims. Ah. Uh, I could theoretically destroy my solar panel with a little uh, ice condenser, but that seems that seems too much. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, all right. So I have is my glass working? No, I need water. Because I don't have water. I need oxygen. So I have water. Oh, uh, water's killing me. All right. As soon as this comes back, oh man, this is a tough choice. What I really need a slant drilling, but I don't see myself getting there right now. Um, Oh, silicon is 134. That is way too much. Um, the black market is online. Um, I, better just, I need to upgrade. But how much should I need to upgrade? 10,000. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so I can sell my carbon, sell my silicon. Okay, upgrade. So I need some more silicon. Silicon is way too And of course silicon is way too high because it's nowhere on the map. Okay, I am going to switch gears and go for patent office um, because because well, I need a slant drilling. Like there is not enough water on this map. Okay, first of all, I got to delete that solar solar panel. All right, let me build another. Uh, build another wind turbine over here because power is still holding up. Um, um, um. I need another steel mill up because why not? Uh, maybe get another hydrolysis. <sighs> okay, I gotta get my patent office up, so I just need to get another glass furnace down. 
No, that was a waste. Let me pause it for a second. So right now you see that, um, so if you, you look at the glass, for, actually I'm going to, uh, it will bounce out against you. So you see this uh, glass furnace here? Basically you, you put in one silicon, you get out basically half a unit of glass. And if you look down at the market here, glass is almost $200, silicon is $129. If, if the price of glass is less than twice the price of silicon, then basically all of your glass furnaces are losing you money because you'd be better off just selling the silicon. In fact, let me do that right here. I'm just going to sell the silicon and then instead buy the buy the um, uh, buy the glass. Uh, so I'm going to actually turn off turn off my glass furnace and just sell the silicon directly. Um, all right, I can build a I can finally build a patent office. So I'll put a pound office here. Um, and the other thing I will need for patents is chemicals. Um, because it, to, re to research your patents, you need chemicals. Um, you need a chemicals lab. Uh, so do I have excess fuel? To make chemicals, you need excess fuel and carbon. I've got the carbon. I don't have the fuel. I'm just going to buy some fuel. Uh, I'm in a tough spot. Um, I'm, going to, I'm just going to have to find a way to build a chemicals lab. I've got two extra claims, so that should be a problem. I just need a few more steel. I can. There we go. Okay, so uh, where should I put it? I'm going to put it right here. So it said it's selling for a pretty good amount. So, so you see, I'm making a pretty good deal off of. Oh, oh dear. Miss Pat just spot this research. Should I get a bunch of cash? No, I'm I'm going seven. for the other guy. Um, um, hmm. Use land drilling. Ultimately, the problem is I've just been this. I've got the source of water, but it's just been EMP. You know what? I should do. Uh, I should have protected my high water with the goon squad. But the prices of the black market items are just too high now. Okay, so I need to get slant drilling. I can get. I need nineteen thousand for that, or I need chemicals. I need fuel. I'm gonna buy some fuel, which allow my my. Um, which means I'll start making chemicals. Slant drilling, I need 80 chemicals. I'm producing 1.4 a second. All right, I'm just gonna sell. Sell silicon, sell glass. I guess I'll turn my, go and turn my, turn my glass furnace back on. I still need fuel. Fortunately, someone must be selling fuel because fuel, I'm surprised it's not more expensive. Um, all right, so I'm, Scientific colony expanded. So to make slant drilling, I need 11,000. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell some stock. I misbalanced. Okay. So now I can get slant drilling. Once I get slant drilling, um, basically, let me pause it for a second. So what slant drilling means is your um, your mines will, your mines, your quarries, your water pumps will, um, they'll work whatever is the highest resource that's either on their tile or adjacent to that tile. So for example, um, um, you have Z right here. This is a, oh, someone underground nuked my water. That's not a problem. So this is a medium water. As soon as I get slant drilling, both of these tiles will work the medium water. Now, if there's a high water on the map somewhere, no, there isn't. I bet, I bet it's just been nuked. No, there's a medium here. So I could theoretically, I could build a water pump here and get medium water. Um, and the other thing I can do is um, I've got... I've got a silicon mine here. I could put uh, another silicon mine right next to it. Um, even though there's no silicon here, if I slant, I have slant drilling, I can work it. Of course, all of that doesn't matter if I don't actually have the claims to take advantage of that. Um, which is why maybe I shouldn't have. Now I wish I had this claim back, right? Like I wasted on this glass furnace. Iron is six dollars. I'm gonna buy some iron. That's cheap. Um, although the price is going down, I'm just gonna sell it all. Crash the market. Um, Uh, I'm just set my chemical lab on start auto supply. So I think the price the price of chemicals relative to carbon and fuel is pretty good. Perpetual motion drops power consumption by 50%. I, I'm going to go to the wall for this option. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, 16,000. Basically, the higher stock price, the more you're able to go into debt. Because you're, 
I really want that. Okay. So my stock price is going to be dropping fast here. Uh, let me pay off. Let me pay off that debt. I don't want that stock price to keep going down. Um, so now I'm going to buy up that pirate again that I sold. Um, steel's going up. Oh, that's good. I'm going to wait for the price of steel to pop up, and then I'll sell it all, and then maybe I can buy out uh, misbalanced. Um, All right, so now all the stock is gone, so I need 60,000 to buy up this balance. So if I sell everything, it gets me to 75,000. Okay, all right, all right, so now we got, so now, uh, so right now I'm just buying stuff that's really cheap because I don't want the AI to be able to take advantage of that. Um, oh, so I picked up an engineering lab, great. That means I can upgrade my water production. Uh, actually, let me do, uh, do my chemicals or water, they're both great. Um, so this base is just, just like a pure upgrade. It means you're going to be producing stuff faster. Um, all right, so I'm at least I finally I'm positive in water. Um, what I need to do is upgrade. Uh, I really need to think about um, all the black market stuff's pretty expensive. I'm just going to leave that be. Um, so. Oh, I can upgrade. Great. Well, all these new people. Okay. I don't know everybody's name yet. So, ooh, you know, silicon has dropped. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about silicon. Let me get some water. That's that's the key. So where's that? So I can't do anything adjacent. Let me find some water where I can't be adjacent. All right. So there's a there's a low water here. Oh, I don't have slant drilling yet. I almost have slant drilling. 97, 98. Uh, wow, I'm making a lot off of power. Power is going crazy. All right, uh, I'm going to start buying up the AI. I assume they're making a lot off of power, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, uh, all right, so I'm going to put some, some water here. Both going on each other pretty good here. Ooh, chemicals 400. All right, doesn't matter how good the patent it is, that's worth selling. I'm just selling everything right now. 80. All right, so the AI only has three left, so I need to find a way to get up to 200,000. Um, so theoretically, here, if you need a lot of money here at the end of the game, you can go for an off-world market. But if you see, actually, because that lets you sell stuff off-world where the prices are a lot higher. How much do I want a new claim? Well, 8,000. Go 8,000 easily. Whoa, the price of what? Well, wasn't the price of energy like in the 200s? Now it's like 16. Uh, so our stock price is so high, we can absorb a lot of debt at this point. So I'll go up to 18,000. Mostly I just don't want the A to get. So I got some extra claims. I'm going to build a pleasure dome, um, which is just kind of a constant trickle of, uh, of money. Um, and, you know, I don't need this solar power anymore here, so I'm going to... Switch over to uh, electrolysis. Well, I'm producing a lot of water. Okay, I got something I can do good here. Um, then I'll get virtual reality that doubles the output of my solar panel. Okay, what's my lab working on? Uh, chemicals is great. I just gotta get some more chemicals. Uh, electronics is pretty good too. Um, all right, let me get some electronics up. I feel like if I, um, so notice I'm actually connected to this uh, AI that I bought out here. But our bases are totally connected, so um, I'm actually going to delete their farm because I want to get all my farms together. Um, and instead, I'll, well, the price of farm, the price of um, food is dropping, so I'm just not going to worry about that. If I sell everything, how close am I to buying out? Uh, 260. Um, I saw that dead. Got one extra claim. Uh, so the question is, should I go for an off-world market, or should I um, buy out any two hundred? So I need two hundred. Basically, it's like I'm spending one hundred twenty thousand to make. 200,000. So I'm going to see if I'm going to try to, if I can basically win just off of prices on the world. You know, oh, Miss Patton has an off-road market. So this I have to worry about. Where is the off-road market? It's right there. Oh, it's two of them. 
Ooh, yeah, I should do that. I'll have to make a note. Um, all right. Uh, do I dare? So right now, let me pause the game for a second. So <laughs> I'm going to definitely try to destroy these. The thing I'm worried about is the AI might have a goon squad on them. So I'm going to take the safe approach. I'm going to buy an EMP, and I'm going to put the EMP here. So if they are goon squatted, they'll get they'll be defended from this EMP. But at the very least, I won't. Uh, I won't. I won't loot. The EMP won't go to the other player. It'll simply be defended for a minute. So let's see what happens if I do what I do here. All right. Neither one of them are protected, so they're knocked out for uh, a certain period of time. So now I know that they don't have a goon squad on them. So I'm. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Um, there's another. We've got a lot of all four ends up. All right, but I can't buy another dynamite because I'm locked out from the black market for 30 seconds. And you can see that, that it's working and they're making money. I wonder how close they are to me. Well, I can find out. They've got, um, yeah, they only got 4,000 cash. So I guess I'm safe for now. Um, Nine, a new plane is available for auction. Thousand. Bidding will begin at. So you see now we've we've overdone water. So I was very worried about water, but now water is basically worth nothing. Fuel is still is holding up pretty well. So I'm going to build electrolysis. It might be a good idea for me to get off world, but let's see. I need I need basically another hundred thousand dollars. So the question is, are are the prices on world going to collapse so much that I can't get up to two hundred thousand? Um, Electronics is doing very good. Electronics is kind of starting to dominate everything. So I think I'm going to delete my glass furnaces and just switch over to electronics. Because it just seems like that. And, and then I'm going to take my engineering lab and start upgrading my electronics production. Uh, right. uh, yeah, I think the, there's no real patents that are. Well, I got the energy ball. That will protect me from um, shortages. Uh, all right. So when you get to 280, um, been pretty close. Getting really close. All right. I'm gonna go for the dagger, which is I'm gonna sell some of my stock. That gives me enough. Uh, I gotta wait. It's a bug. This should be. This should be showing eight, seven, three. But basically, when you sell your stock, you're locked out of the stock market for eight seconds. So now I can buy it, and I won. Oh. Um, so that's that's off world. That's, that's how you win. Um, and I think now we're gonna maybe play a multiplayer game. Um, so I'm probably gonna turn off the <laughs> who runs by Italia. Yeah. And so I'm probably gonna turn off the. Uh, well, first of all, let me show you some of the stats. Um, so this is the after game screen. So here you can see these are uh, these are the stock prices over the course of the game. Wow, we had a pretty big run up there. This is basically basically after the um, after the buyouts. Uh, here's the resource graph where you can watch how the prices everything went 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 up and down over the course of the game. So this one at the top here, I assume that's electronics. The power is a pretty interesting one. Look at power it goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. This is this is kind of typical where power gets to this point where everyone's like, "Well, look at the price of power," and then everyone piles on the energy market, builds way too much solar power, or wind turbines or whatever, and, and then eventually the just it, it totally crashes. So there is an advantage to building even if it's not a great tile, putting your power plants near your, near your colony so that you can basically reclaim those 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 tiles. You can you know. You saw that I basically deleted a solar power that was next to my colony and put an electrolysis reactor there. You know that was that was a that was a, that was a good move for me. Um, what else? What other resources are interesting? Chemicals became really strong uh, late in the game. Uh, we got to work on this chart. Uh, there's a lot going on here, um, and uh, you know you can turn stuff on or off, but um, it's perhaps a little bit too much, too much noise. So here, here's you receive your your resources. So I made. Um, Wow, I made almost three hundred fifty made three hundred fifty thousand dollars off of power. Um, however, I had to also auto purchase, you know, almost half that from, you know, mostly life supply life support stuff, um, and I had to buy a lot of fuel. This is all the fuel I bought to create those chemicals, which is quite a bit. 
Um, and where I really made my money was, well, actually I was pretty, I was pretty well diversified. I made a lot off of chemicals, a lot off of steel. Um, and yeah, these are my black market items. Uh, was it Miss Patent that was the problem? Yeah. Wow, so Miss Patent bought five goon squads. Um, and was buying and, and bought five claims. Wow. So I think Miss Patton got an early lead, really took advantage of it. Um, they did much in technologies. Yeah, they really boosted their food and chemical production. Um, they picked up water engine and teleportation. That's a, that's a great patent. Um, so, yeah, you know, I got I guess I got to work on the AI a little bit more. Um, you know, I think I think the AI was in a position where they could have beat me that game, but had maybe a little bit of difficulty um, uh, pulling it off. Um, but you know, we still got a ways to go. So, um, so yeah, so I think we're gonna maybe uh, get with the team and we're gonna maybe do a, uh, a multiplayer stream. Stream. So stay tuned if you wanna if you wanna see more more off world. And thanks thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.